Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. You can see I guess I look a little bit different. Um, I had a trip to the stylist today. It was such a long day, I'm like, when was it? <laughs> today. So I decided to come on and show you how I detangle when I'm using tools. Because you know I finger detangle like 50 or 49 weeks out of the year. And I just um, comb or brush like maybe twice, two or three times a year when I want to go to my stylist. So this was a great opportunity to show you guys everything that I do and how I detangle when I'm detangling with tools. So if any of you detangle with tools or if any of you finger detangle, maybe this will help you. So as you know, when I go to the stylist, I like to do a thorough detangling before I go. So last time I showed you a little bit of it. <laughs> but this time I actually want to show you my full kind of thorough detangling routine, pre-stylist strip detangling routine. And just how I detangle when I'm not finger detangling. If I really want to get every shed hair and tangle out of there to make life easy when I get to the stylist. So take a look at my process and I'll be back to play with this hair some more. <laughs> I start off by separating my hair into four sections. So I'm just kind of twisting it up to put it out of the way so I can detangle the rest. So I split it into two and then I split that two <laughs> to make quadrants. And this isn't the detangling step yet, but I always automatically lightly finger detangle before I try to do a twist or braid. So that's what I'm doing here, trying to get it into twist, but just, you know, detangling it a bit first. This is me twisting that section up out of the way. And now we get to business. So I start with finger detangling, even if I'm going to use tools. So I finger detangle the section as much as I can with just the water. Just lightly, I stop if I reach a major tangle. Then I add conditioner and then I finger detangle thoroughly with the conditioner. So that's a bit of shedding. And now on to the fun stuff. I start with the Denman brush because I just find it easier to detangle with a Denman brush versus a comb for me. It just can go lightly enough to kind of gradually get more and more of the tangles as opposed to the comb where you kind of sink it all the way through and it has all the layers of tangles to get to. So this is the shedding after the Denman brush. Now it's time for the final step which is the comb. So you know you can call it overkill but I feel like each one does get a little something extra or a little something different so I just like to go over it once with the comb there wasn't much shedding I just twist that section and clip it out of the way and repeat the same process on all the other sections so this is my final section and I'm just repeating the process light finger detangle under running water add conditioner and fully finger detangle then get my Denman brush out and you know fully detangle with that Again, this is the shedding. So you can see it's not that much, especially for my thick hair. So my finger detangling does get most of it. And usually when I finger detangle and I'm not using tools, I will take off the gloves for my final stretch of detangling. And that just helps to get all the shed hair. I just use my comb and finish that last comb detangle. And I'm basically done. I have it in four sections now. I just split it into two sections only and braid each side and <laughs> as you can see my favorite go-to then I just rinse it with the conditioner in and I, after that I would squeeze out the extra water and towel blot it but basically I go to the stylist just in these two plaits <laughs> So that's it. That's how I prepped for this. As you can see, it's kind of similar. So, because <laughs> this is like the easiest only thing I know how to do, to be honest. Too much information. But anyway, so let's get to the hair. I wanted to show you the explosion, I guess. So this is my hair at the moment with the blowout. Um, this is the back. <laughs> For this video I hope that was helpful I hope that was informative and I hope it was fun yay <laughs> I'll see you in the next one bye